Hello all, Marco from Random Door Media. Every now and then some plot element in a movie, TV show, or comic book comes up that I start putting more thought into. Some plot element that I ponder over. Now I'm not a scientist, but I do read books and watch shows on sciencey type subjects. Therefore I've garnered a decent amount of knowledge about how things work in the world. Today's subject is traveling through time. Now, since time travel is not possible, as far as we know, I cannot dispute the actual act of time traveling that is presented in a story, but I can take a look at other aspects of the story that are in direct relation to the act of traveling through time. For example, I was thinking of a time traveler that moves far enough in time that the environment they end up is radically different. I also had the same concerns about stories in which characters travel to other planets. That is, how would a character's immune system react to an environment that is thousands of years in the past or thousands of years in the future? In the story War of the Worlds, the alien invaders are ultimately defeated when they fall prey to earthly pathogens. They succumb to the germs and bacteria on Earth that their bodies have no immunity to. If someone traveled far enough in time, wouldn't the character become sick in some way after being exposed to bacteria and viruses that their system has not built up immunity to? Wouldn't it be similar to just them traveling to another planet? Some stories feature the time traveler simply disappearing from their starting location and then reappearing at their new destination in time. Essentially, they teleport through time. But what about stories that portray the character as actually traveling through time? What would be the effects on the traveler and the world around them? I looked into the issues of freezing time and how it would affect a person's senses on a previous video. So how would simply moving forwards or backwards in time affect someone's vision? If a person's body is functioning normally in time while the traveling is happening, how would their vision be affected? I would imagine that traveling forward in time would have the effect of seeing everything as if it was moving and fast forward. I don't really see how that would change. However, traveling backwards in time would be problematic. You would not simply see things going backwards because light particles would be moving out of and away from the person's eyes and therefore they would be blind as eyes do not work with the mechanic of light moving out of the eyes. So what happens to the things that used to be where the time traveler travels to? In the usual timeline, the space was occupied by air, light particles, leaves blowing in the wind, dust, and so on. When the travelers travel through time, do those things just get pushed aside? Would that have any effect or impact on the environment around them? As the characters traveling through time, do they permanently take up the space they are in? What if somebody tried walking through that space? How does gravity affect a time traveler? Am I thinking about this too much? But all these points are moot when put up against one big flaw with the way time traveling is depicted in stories. Traveling through space as well as time. Frequently, a story will have characters travel to a specific era of time, but that also means they travel to a different part of the world. In shows such as Peabody's Improbable History, when the characters Mr. Peabody and Sherman travel to a different time, they also travel to a different place. For example, when they wanted to speak with Ludwig von Beethoven, not only did they travel back in time to the year 1799, but they physically traveled to Vienna, Austria. Hello again, Peabody here. Where are we going this time, Mr. Peabody? Vienna, Austria, where we'll meet that brilliant composer and virtuoso Ludwig van Beethoven. Adjusting the Wayback Machine to the year 1799, Sherman and I were quickly on our way. In no time at all, we found ourselves in a small studio where Mr. Beethoven was hard at work. However, a lot of time travel stories understand that if you're traveling through time only, then your physical location would remain the same you would only be moving backwards or forwards through time. In the 2002 movie, The Time Machine, based on the book by H.G. Wells of the same title, the character remains in the same location and sees the world changing around him as he advances through the years.
how that looks about right, right? Well, not really, because storytellers that write about time traveling always forget one major fact. Even if the traveler does not physically move from their location, their location does move. The Earth, for example, at the equator, rotates at about 460 meters per second. That means that if you moved only 10 seconds forward in time, you would be 4.6 kilometers away from the location you were at. On top of that, the planet also moves at about 30 kilometers per second on its path around the sun. And the solar system itself is moving. So yeah, a character that is just moving through time will end up nowhere near the physical location that they started at. Yet no storyteller seemed to know this. Or it's just that pesky reality getting in the way of easy storytelling. There are some stories that do address this issue by making the time machine a spaceship as well. In the television show Doctor Who from the BBC, the time machine used by the main character is the TARDIS, which stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. The TARDIS is a spacecraft and a time machine, which allows the occupants to travel to a specific location in the universe as well as specific points in time. So for the stories that have a stationary time machine, the simple solution would be to have some character say that the traveler is going through space as well as time then, right? Well then that brings up more questions, because the further through time the person is traveling, the farther through space they would need to travel as well. How would it reorientate the traveler so that their feet were on the surface of the planet? Can the time travel machine just move people through space without moving them through time? Could it just be used to teleport someone to another location in space? Oh well. I'm not a writer, and I don't need to worry about these plot elements. These are just a few things that pop into my mind when I try to fall asleep at night. So that's all I have for this video. If you're interested in more, let me know by subscribing to the channel. Leave a comment if you have any feedback. Take care all.